You don't know me, but you tried to kill me. You are unfortunately living proof that evil does exist in our world. And Tony Montalto told the killer about his daughter. She would have gone on to change the world had she been able to grow up. I am broken. I am broken. The grieving victims also with attacks on the system and anger with the jury that spared the killer's life. The man accused of attacking Speaker Pelosi's husband in court. What his neighbors are saying. I kind of had the suspicion something strange might happen. And former President Trump weighs in, adding fuel to the lies swirling on the internet. So it wasn't a break in, it was a breakout. Midterm elections one week away. The Democrats working to push back the surging Republicans in the home stretch. Chaos in Brazil over their presidential election. What the ousted leader has just agreed to do. Pfizer releases details on a vaccine for RSV. The young rapper take off, shot and killed. And hero from above. I fell with my car in here. A paraglider rescues a woman clinging to the roof of her submerged car. Car makers, auto sales are up. In fact, they had the best month of the year, and there's good news for car buyers, too. Plus, a once in a thousand years flood hit Yellowstone Park, causing a river to overflow, destroying roads, and cutting off access to the park. But now, just months later, there's a brand new way for tourists to get back in. Exxon and Chevron reported blowout quarterly numbers. Exxon nearly $20 billion in profit, that's a record, and Chevron had its second highest quarterly profit ever. Today, BP reported it's more than doubled its profit from a year ago, and Saudi Aramco announced profit soared 39% last quarter to, get this, $49 billion, or 42, I should say. Today at the pump, the average price nationwide for a gallon of gas, $3.75, down five cents over the past month. Still, a gallon costs 35 cents more than it did this time last year. The Treasury Department announced the annual interest rate for the popular Series I investment or savings bond. The inflation protected asset will pay nearly 7% through April of next year. The rates reset every six months. It's the third highest offering since the Treasury introduced the bond in 1998. And last night's Powerball Halloween drawing haunted players looking to score the big prize, but no winners. The jackpot now, $1.2 billion. Second largest prize in Powerball's 30-year history. The next drawing, Wednesday night. On Wall Street, markets finish lower ahead of the Fed's decision on rates. The Dow down 80, S&P down 16, the Nasdaq down 97. The world's largest rocket launching for the first time after being grounded for more than three years. Too bad very few people could watch it go. Quite the foggy day at Kennedy Space Center, but the Falcon Heavy took off anyway. What we know about its super secret mission. Plus why a tiger shark is this woman's best friend. Watch even after one very close encounter, one that might send the rest of us to dry land forever. SpaceX successfully launching its Falcon Heavy rocket this morning at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. It's the fourth SpaceX flight of a Falcon Heavy. It's the world's most powerful rocket. Some observers said they couldn't even see the launch because the fog was so bad, but they could definitely hear the blast. Officials promised a couple of sonic booms and they delivered. Both side boosters stuck their landings just seconds apart. SpaceX reports the third booster is carrying a classified payload into orbit for the U.S. Space Force. It's going to roughly 22,000 miles above Earth. Today marks the first Falcon Heavy launch in about three years. According to SpaceX, the Falcon Heavy produces more than 5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. Well, a man flying a paramotor in South Florida, yes, a paramotor, saved a woman's life after he spotted her clinging to a car in a canal. Cristiano Piquet says he and a friend were flying on the motorized paragliders 
when he saw an alligator. Piquet says he flew lower to get a better look, and that's when he saw the woman and her car. I need help. Oh my God, I fell with my car in here. Oh, Piquet says he flagged down a neighbor who grabbed a rope and pulled her to dry land, and there it is. The woman hugged the man who rescued her while Piquet looked on from the other side of the water. Piquet said,